Good morning, Grade 3. Welcome back to Grade 3 Mathematics class. How are you all doing today? So, in the previous class, we learned how to add or subtract measurements involving capacities. Today, let's see a few word problems involving measurements of capacity. Let's see the first question. A shopkeeper sold 13 liters, 125 milliliters of apple juice and 25 liters, 400 milliliters of watermelon juice in a day. How much juice was sold during the day? So what is mentioned in the question? You are given the quantity of apple juice and the quantity of watermelon juice sold in a day. You have to find out what is the total quantity of juice sold on that particular day. So how can we find out the total quantity of juice sold? We can add the two quantities given here, the quantity of apple juice sold and the quantity of watermelon juice sold and hence we can find out the total quantity of juice sold on that day. So writing the proper steps first, the amount of apple juice sold is equal to 13 liters 125 milliliters and the amount of watermelon juice sold is equal to 25 liters 400 milliliters. Now the total amount of juice salt is equal to the amount of apple juice salt plus the amount of watermelon juice salt. So that is equal to 13 liters 125 milliliters plus 25 liters 400 milliliters. So to add the given measurements, the first step is to write the given measurements in proper columns of units. So let's do that in the working column. So here we have the 13 liters in the liter column and the 125 milliliters in the milliliter column and the 25 liters in the liter column and the 400 milliliters in the milliliter column. So starting the addition from the smaller units column, let's add the milliliter column. So here we have 5 plus 0, 5, 2 plus 0, 2 and 1 plus 4 is equal to 5. So here in the milliliter column, we have 525 milliliters. Now moving to the liters column. Here we have 30 liters plus 25 liters, which is equal to, see 3 plus 5, it's 8, and 2 plus 1, 3 here. So it is 38 liters. So what is the total quantity of juice sold in a day? It is equal to 38 liters and 525 milliliters. So I hope this is clear to you. I will see one more example. Shweta purchased 2 liters 750 milliliters of milk from a dairy. After reaching home, she realized that she needed 3 liters 950 milliliters of milk for the preparation of a sweet dish. How much more milk was needed? So what is mentioned in the question? We are given the quantity of milk that she purchased and she was going to prepare a sweet dish and for the recipe she actually needed 3 liters 950 milliliters of milk but she bought only 2 liters 750 milliliters of milk. It's clear that she needs more quantity of milk to be purchased. The original quantity required was this but she purchased only this much. So we are asked to find out how much more milk she needs to purchase. So how can we find out that? We can just subtract the quantity of milk she purchased from the actual quantity of milk needed to prepare the dish. So first let's write down the proper steps. The amount of milk purchased is equal to 2 liters 750 milliliters of milk. Now, the amount of milk needed to prepare the sweet dish is equal to 3 liters 950 milliliters. Now, what is the difference? The amount of more milk, how much more milk is needed? That is equal to the amount of milk needed for the preparation minus the amount of milk she purchased. So, substituting the measurements we have 3 liters 950 milliliters minus 2 liters 750 milliliters. So as earlier, first we have brought down the given measurements in proper columns of units. The units here are liters and milliliters. Liter is the larger unit and milliliter is the smaller unit. Now starting the subtraction from the smaller units column, in the milliliter column we have 0 minus 0, 0, 5 minus 5, 0, 
9 minus 7 is 2. So here it is 200 milliliters. Now moving to the liters column, we have 3 liter minus 2 liter, which is equal to 1 liter. How much more milk she needs to purchase? To prepare the sweet dish, she needs to purchase 1 liter, 200 milliliter of milk extra to prepare the sweet dish. So I hope this is clear to you. Now you have to go through the topic word problems involving capacities in page number 129 of your textbook. Then move on to exercise 9.7 and you have to work out the questions, question number 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. These are word problems. You have to write down the question and work out the answers in your notebook. Then below that you can see a heading maths around us and in the next page, in page number 131, you can see an interesting activity to prepare fruit punch. Go through it and do accordingly. So that's all for today children. Hope this was interesting to you. We'll meet in the next class with a new topic. Till then, bye.